I'm not a mind reader. I wish I could, but I can't read minds. You gotta speak up. So I just feel like when we had became best friends, everything just turned around. It went for the worst, not for the better, for the worst. if you don't know now you know if you're new to the channel make sure you like comment and hit that subscribe button so you can be part of my family and if you're not new welcome back so before we get into the video i just want to say excuse my um ac it comes on every video it turns off come on we're just going to ignore that the entire video but as you guys read by the title you already know what today's video is today i'm going to be coming with a whole story time on how i had this fake friend i just wanted to come and share this story with you guys you know because I mean, why not? I'm trying to bring good content to you guys. So I was like, well, I mean, it is what it is. No way, shape, or form to bash her. It's nothing against her. It's just, I mean, stuff happens. You fall out with friends. It happens, whatever. It is what it is. But anyways, we just going to get straight into the story time because that's what y'all came here for. Make sure to like the video. For more story times, comment down below and share this video with all of your friends, your auntie, grandma, your sister, your brother, your cousin. Share with everybody, okay? Y'all already know what to do. So, yeah, we're going to get straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to just name this girl Cherry, okay? Because I'm looking at all my perfumes and stuff. So, basically, this was somebody I thought that was going to be in my life for a very, very long time. Like, I'm thinking we finna be, you know, graduating together, finna be having a good time. She finna be coming over my house. We finna be friends till we freaking grown. And we old, okay? But, obviously, I thought wrong. And, like, it was very much one-sided, I guess. Me and Cher, we met in seventh grade at a school that I had transferred to because my mama didn't want me going to this other school I went to. She wanted me to go to a public charter school or whatever. And I'm like, mm, I didn't even want to go, y'all, because they had to wear uniforms. I just wasn't feeling it. But I had no choice. Like, I'm in seventh grade. What is my say-so? Like, I have to go. So, boom. Anyways, I went and I met this girl, Cherry. We hit it off immediately. We've always been supportive of each other. We've always had good times. We never had any problems, any arguments, any disagreements, nothing. So boom, ninth grade hit, I had went to another high school, and so we weren't talking as much. And then as quarantine hit and stuff like that, I started back talking to her a lot more, and she started coming over here, I started going over there. I really stayed over there majority of the times, but you know, we just started hanging out more. So boom, I went over to her house, we had a good time, you know, her mom was sweet, I loved her mama, her little sister, I loved her whole family. Like, I just, we was cool, we was good, right? So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. So. It was one situation where I used to vent to her, of course. Like, of course I'm going to vent to her. We just had those good conversations. And I realized, I'm like, I've had a lot of past best friends and stuff like that. But I feel like she was best friend material. I'm like, we can get along well. I can talk to you. And, you know, we just kind of impulsively was like, okay, we best friends now. Like, whatever, forget it. You my homegirl, whatever it is, but it is. So, at that point, we was best friends and everything was going well. So, fast forward to like... I don't even know how long ago it was. I'm gonna say like maybe a month ago, if I'm not sure. This is when I started to peep some stuff about her. Like, we've never had problems. I keep telling y'all this. Like, keep this in mind. Never had any issues, never had anything, nothing like that until we became best friends, until we became actually close to the point where we were actually hanging out. So, here is one of the situations where I want y'all to tell me if this makes sense in the comments, because it don't make sense to me. I had a friend, right? She was one of my closest friends. And I'm going to call her Angela's. Angela. I'm going to call her Angela. So, yeah. My friend Angela, she moved to Texas. I wanted to see her. Cherry, she knew this. Is that what I called her? Yeah. She knew this. And so, I told Cherry, I was like, well, you know, my friend Angela, she's coming back. You know, can we go out to the bowling alley and go see her and whatever and hang out? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. So we went there, you know, we had a good time. We was just chilling and stuff. We was all cool. Like it was me sitting down, Cherry, Angela, and then Angela's friend that she had brought from Texas that she had met or whatever. And it was just all of us and we was chilling, right? Keep this in mind, Cherry ain't say nothing to me. Like she seemed cool with the entire thing and she seemed comfortable with the entire thing. And I thought we had a good time. Just keep this whole type of story in mind. And then I'm like, fast forward y'all to what I'm talking about right now. I gotta take y'all to another backstory. So back then, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. I've been wanting to do YouTube since I was young, since I even started watching YouTube. But I used to always want to do YouTube. This was always a passion for me. Anybody in seven and eighth grade could tell you i've been wanting to do youtube for years like i'm just now actually 
getting to it and i was you know talking to my friend i started my channel or whatever and she wanted to start a channel herself i was so happy because I love seeing my friends want to do something, you know, good for themselves. Like, if you want to start a YouTube channel, if you want to start a business, all of that entrepreneur stuff, even if it's not entrepreneur stuff, if you want to be a nurse, if you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, I'm down for it. I'm very much, yes, girl, like, get to the bag. But since she wanted to do YouTube, I just love that because I love YouTube. I can help teach you. We can grow from each other. I just love that concept. So I was full 100% supportive. I was in it. I'm like, yes, girl, do your little YouTube channel. I mess with it or whatever, right? She's been doing her YouTube channel for a minute. And, like, I'm one of those people, when I do my YouTube videos, sometimes it's hard for me to make thumbnails. Like, I know how to make thumbnails, but it's hard for me to make thumbnails with my background and the areas I'm in. It's kind of hard to get something that I really like versus when I'm outside of my house or something like that, I can make better thumbnails. So, I would text her and be like, hey, how's this thumbnail? She'd be like, oh, that's bad. That's ugly. This and the third. It was always something very negative to say. She never really had anything positive to say. And when she did, I was in shock. I'm like, oh, I finally did good. You can give your friend constructive criticism, especially because I asked. But there's a way that you say stuff like, hey, um, I feel like you could do a little better in these areas. Here's what you need to fix. Da 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 da. That's what I'm asking for. Not for you to be rude and say, oh, that's just bad. I, this is ugly. Um, you don't like it like there's ways that you can say it to where it's like okay you're actually trying to help me not be judgmental because we're both growing together i'm not like a pro youtuber yet i'm just asking for constructive criticism you know what i'm saying like that's all that was it so that was something i used to pee back then i didn't make no big deal out of it but i'm just like girl like okay and i know we all over the place with this story but it's a lot of like a lot of things that kind of built up into this one situation okay so just please keep up with me i know it's hard but just keep up anyways that's what happened and i used to just kind of peep that because you know some things when she used to say oh i don't like that and stuff i used to change it and like it actually did look better when i changed it but i just the way that she would say it and convey it to me i'm just like i don't like it like there's ways you could say that Da, 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 da. and like when it came to her videos always supportive always the first one to watch always the first one to like like i was there i'm like the top dog she didn't have to tell me she was making a video anything like that and you know uh, when she asked me for constructive criticism i gave her constructive criticism not saying oh i don't like that i told her hey this is what you could do better this is how you fix it because there was like a lot of things she definitely could have did better and since i'm a little bit more experience in youtube now i can actually tell her hey this is some things you probably need to work on need to change and this is what can help you grow but i never gave her like oh this is ugly i don't like that like da 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 like um okay like there's ways you say stuff so red flag number one okay just it was always something negative to say then it was another situation y'all this is what really threw me off now i'm going to be talking to y'all about something big i have something really big coming up it's actually going to be talked about a little bit more coming up this saturday so if you don't follow me on social medias you need to go ahead and get at me and you know just go ahead and hit that follow button because all of that's going to be coming out i have something really big coming up so as i'm planning everything out i went to her to ask her her opinion this is something that was something I've been working on for months, something that I'm passionate about, something that I really held so close to me. I showed her the shirts that I have that I'm creating. And if you want to see them coming up, like I said, go follow my Instagram page at Real Maddie. I'll be posting more about my whole brand and everything, like what it looked like, all that. Y'all will see that Saturday. So if I post this before Saturday, make sure that you go check out my Instagram at real.maddie to get more information on saturday i am going to be dropping more information on june the 4th and my shirts will be dropping june 11th so make sure that y'all go check that out but anyways i send a video showing her what the shirts will look like the front the back something negative to say she didn't say one good thing she's like oh this is dad like she was man and i'm just like bro like it was something so bad to say. She was like, I don't like that. Like, this girl didn't have nothing positive to say. It was something negative the entire time we was on the phone. And I just got quiet. Because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is something I'm really passionate about. And you obviously know. I didn't tell her, oh, I'm coming out with a brand. But I was like, hey, I'm going to send you something. You know, look at this. But it's pretty obvious if I'm just sending something. It's, it's something about me, for me. It's not just anything random from Sheen or something. So, 
I was just like, okay. And I started to distance myself. I didn't say anything about it. I ain't gonna lie. I typed a whole paragraph on my notes. I'll put a screenshot. It's gonna be blurred. but So y'all know I'm not lying. I typed a whole paragraph in my notes. But I didn't send it. Because I was like, you know what? Like, I just tried to get over it. But it really did bother me on how I'm trying to show you something that big that I'm working on. And the first thing you got to say is something negative. Now, one thing positive, everybody else was like, I like it. Da, 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 da. That's why you don't show people your stuff, y'all. Because that was just straight disrespectful. Like, you don't do that to none of your friends. So, I was like, hmm, red flag number two. So, cool. I let that slide. I didn't talk to her on the same level no more. But I didn't fully cut her off. I feel like I should have cut her off then and there because a friend does not do that. They're not finna sit there and do you like that. That's just period. And like I said, this video is not to bash her. I'm just saying a friend don't do you like that. It is what it is. So, boom, fast forward. So, I had a video. My last recent video. I know how my video is going to do within the first couple of weeks or so. It depends on the type of video. So, like, some videos, they'll do better months from now. And some videos, you'll know, like, if it's going to do good. And the last video that I had, make sure y'all go watch that. But the last video that I had, it wasn't really doing as good as my videos usually do in 24, 48, you know, 72 hours. And I usually, I don't really ask people to really watch my videos because I have my babies. I have my subscribers. I have people, you know, that are watching me. So I don't really ask people too much to watch my videos because I don't know. But at this specific time, because my video wasn't performing how I wanted it to, I asked her, I said, hey, I just uploaded a video because most of the time when she uploads a video, she'll post it on her Instagram page or not Instagram page. She'll post it on her story or she'll text me and tell me she uploaded or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go watch it and I go watch it like I say I'm going to do. I'll be watching it sometimes without her even have to tell me anything. If I see that notification, oh yeah, I'm going to watch my girl's stuff, right? So I was like, hey, I did a YouTube video. No response. And I got a screenshot. No response. I'm like... Okay, well, maybe she's busy. So I go to Instagram. I'm just scrolling. She watching my stories. She posting all of that. I'm like, I know she's seeing my message. I texted her again, and I was like, okay. I said something like that. No response. No response. So at that point, I'm just like, nobody is obligated to watch my stuff. Nobody is obligated to do anything for me, and I don't ask for much. I'm telling her I have a video out for a reason. I'm at least expecting a response like, oh, okay, I'll watch it when I get a chance or something. Like, I really feel like she don't even watch my videos for real when she says she do. Like, it's weird to me because back then, when we weren't best friends or nothing like that, if we didn't hold no title, we was just really close, she would FaceTime me and show me her watching my video. So, now all of a sudden, I'm texting you like, hey, I got a video out. I'm obviously texting that for a reason because I usually don't say nothing. No response. So, I'm like okay and like i said nobody's obligated so i'm not saying she had to watch my video she had to do this i just feel like if you're a close friend of somebody you're supportive and i'm gonna put this quote up here i feel like if you're not supportive if your friend is not supportive of you something is weird about that you should naturally want your friends to win i want her to win so i feel like it should be vice versa so i just felt something really odd with that because she never does that to me so I like literally became distant like I didn't say anything else about the situation I'm like I'm done with that because at that point it's just like you know what I'm saying like I just felt like that was really odd to me she wasn't obligated she didn't have to do anything okay but I just feel like if you call yourself my best friend we're supposed to be close buddy buddy you should be just as supportive of me as I'm supportive of you and it should be vice versa it shouldn't be nothing asked for it shouldn't be nothing like it should be automatic but that's just me as a friend I don't know but that's just how I run so anyways boom now keep that last that last story in mind okay i'm telling y'all a bunch of stories at once but keep that last story in mind with that girl angela okay okay so now we finna get into now so she did that and i just i didn't say nothing so i had hid her story for myself i didn't unfollow her i didn't block her because it really wasn't nothing too deep for me to go as far as doing all of that i just hid her story for myself i didn't really want to watch her story or anything like that because it's just what am I watching your story for? So one day I just decided I slid up. I was like, oh, let me check out a story. So I did. And all of a sudden after I checked out her story, she texted me and she was not texting me. She made a post and was like, hey, uh, my best friends don't talk to me no more and tag me and her guy best friend. She was like, oh, they see how cute I look today or something like that. And I didn't respond. I didn't respond. I watched her next story and I still didn't respond. She was like, oh, not you didn't respond to me. 
Well, no, I didn't respond to you. Like, you didn't respond to me when I at least told you, like, hey, I dropped a video basically insinuating, like, hey, can you go watch my video? But you didn't say nothing. You didn't have nothing to say. And I tipped at you twice. There was no excuse. You seen it. So I seen your post. I did the same thing because you didn't do that with me. So I don't have anything to say. So, boom, a couple days later, I didn't say nothing, right? So a couple days later, I have an app where I can see who unfollow me. It's nothing deep, but it irritates me and it grinds my gears when somebody unfollows me but still got me following them. Like, nah, I'm going to unfollow you too. It's like, you're not famous. None of that's going to be going on. I go, look, she unfollows me. Okay. I mean, I wasn't even going to unfollow you, but okay, that's cool. So I unfollowed her just like she unfollowed me. And I did this on my spam. So I didn't go on my main and unfollow her. I didn't go on my private spam and unfollow her. I just unfollowed her on my main spam. So, boom, I get a text a couple days later after I followed her off of my main. That was it. Nothing else. Now she went as far as to follow me off of every other social media. And I'm like, no, I didn't. She was like, yes, you did. But I ain't got time. I'm not even going to see her argue with you, da 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 I'm like, okay. Like, okay. Boom, get this long paragraph. You're selfish. You're this. You're that. Um, This is Maddie's world. Baby, if I was selfish, a selfish person, how am I going to be selfish and be supportive? How am I going to be selfish and be there for you when you need it? How am I selfish? If I'm being there when you need me, I'm a supportive friend. I do everything I'm supposed to do as a friend should. So it's just like, I'm selfish. Um, It's Maddie's world. Then, y'all, remember the Angela situation I told you? She gonna say some yeah, and I was uncomfortable. But um, basically, she was saying that she didn't want to go see Angela. She don't fool with Angela. And basically, she was uncomfortable, and I could tell she was uncomfortable by how she looked. First of all, let me let me tell y'all this right now. I told her about Angela. I didn't see no look on her face about going. I didn't see no type of body language. She seemed like everything was fine. My thing is, why do people think that you can read their minds? I didn't see nobody language. She was sitting right next to her. I'm talking about they was close. Uh, thigh to thigh. If you had a problem with her, why didn't you just tell me, hey, I don't really fool with her, so I don't want to go. And I would have been like, okay, I'm not going to make you go if you don't mess with her, which I didn't even know that. Like, how am I supposed to know this stuff if you don't tell me nothing? And then that just threw me off too because I'm like, you know, now you just making up stuff. That's how you know people really ain't your friends when they saying stuff to not be your friend no more that don't make sense like how would i know that you don't mess with her when you easily said yeah we can go you were sitting close to her you were sitting next to her stuff like that like it's not you know what i'm saying of course they didn't talk as much so she was hanging around me just like her other friend was hanging around her because i didn't know her but it was nothing no beef no animosity no nothing my friend angela she gonna say if she don't mess with nobody Okay, she's like, she is straight up to the point. So she never said, no, I don't mess with Cherry. She knew Cherry was coming. She had no problem with that. So I'm like really confused on how she expected me to be like, oh, I, I can reach your mind. Like, I know that you don't mess with her and you don't want to go. Like, I asked you for a reason. You could have easily declined. It's never that serious to me, but that's what best friends do. Communication is key. Like, y'all remind you, her and Angela, they went to school together, ninth, 10th grade. I left. So anything that happened between them, I don't know about. Nobody told me anything that happened between Angela Cherry, nothing. So from my understanding, they was cool. They was cordial. So how was I supposed to know that? How was I supposed to know you was uncomfortable? I didn't see no type of body language. I didn't see nothing. Like, but I'm a bad friend when you didn't say nothing to me. I'm like, okay. Um, and then I was trying to tell her, I was trying to confront her about the fact that when I texted her, she didn't respond because she got mad at me that I didn't respond to her message. And she had nothing to say about that. She just went all over that. She went smooth over it. Like, I told her, I was like, hey, like, you used to be, like, rude to me when I asked you stuff. Like, you used to do this. You used to do this. She had nothing to say about the stuff she did. It was all my fault. And then I was like, well, I was always super supportive, stuff like that. You the one that always made me do it. How? How did I make you do a YouTube channel? I didn't make you do anything. I was just supportive. You said you wanted to start it. And I'm like, start it. Like, I will help you. I will make your banner. I'll do everything because I know how to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should have just stopped talking to me a long time ago because I felt the vibe being off anyways. Because um, I just feel like an unsupportive friend and people that act like that, like, I don't want to say that nobody's hating on me. We shouldn't be hating on nobody. It shouldn't be no jealousy, no nothing. So I don't see, you know, why she would be like that towards me. But yeah, and it was a lot more. She sent me a long paragraph, y'all. I didn't even read it. Like, everything that she was saying was not making sense, was not adding up. So, 
it was just the selfish that threw me off and you know telling me like oh i was uncomfortable i didn't know that like she didn't look uncomfortable she was just hanging around me as she would if she don't really talk to her as much like she moved like i was closer to her so that makes sense for her to hang around me a little bit more obviously but like i didn't know it was anywhere body language she is gonna decline she could have said no she could have said i don't mess with her she could have spoke up i'm not a mind reader i wish i could but I can't read minds. You got to speak up. So I just feel like when we had became best friends, everything just turned around. It went for the worst. Not for the better, for the worst. After that, I'm not going to lie. I just blocked her. I cut her off. Because I told her, I was like, if we not finna talk. Because I'm one of those people. I don't want to be texting all day. If you got a problem, any issues with me, you call me. I'm not, wanna, I'm not finna text you all day. That was the first thing I should have said when she hit me up about that stuff. That stupid stuff. I should have said, I'm not finna text you back, but you call me. I'm not finna be texting all of that. You got a phone. You got my number. You got a problem. You called me. Texted her that. She was nowhere to be found. I texted again. I'm like, so is you gonna call me or what? Because, I mean, you texted me all day, but you can't call me? No response. So I was like, okay. And I just blocked her. Because at that point, like... And it's really disappointing because, like I said, we've never had issues. We've never got into it. She knows, like, I've had so many fake friends. I could tell so many freaking stories. So many stories. She knows what I've been through. I've been through a lot. I could truly say that it's a lot of the people that I hang around, bad energy, negative energy. They do you wrong and then turn it and flip it on you. Like, it's really that bad. Like, I feel like I don't have any genuine friends, maybe like two right now. But as far as like close buddy buddy like this, no. I don't have nobody in my life that I would call my best friend. I don't have nobody in my life that I would say like we just close. I talk to them every day no more. No, I don't trust a soul no more. Like it's really sad, but that's just how it is. That's how life is, especially where I live. That's just one of the really big things. And like I said, yeah, after that, I just really, I blocked her and I left that where it is. So I don't really care no more about the situation. I'm definitely over it. But I just came to tell my story. Like, no way to bash her. No way to do anything. It is what it is. It happened. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it was just crazy how people can do you. And then as soon as, like I said, as soon as I brung it up, she ain't had nothing to say about any of the stuff she did to me. Like, she didn't say, I, you know, I was wrong for that. Like, what friend does this stuff? Like, what type of friends do I be having? God, please bless me with some genuine friends. Like, it's so hard to find. Like, that's ridiculous. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. I hope you guys stayed the whole time because this story time actually took a lot longer than I expected. But I'm really, really glad that I'm getting out content for you guys. That's all I wanted to do. So make sure if you don't subscribe to me right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my social medias. Y'all already know what to do and share this with everybody that you know. I will definitely see you guys in my next YouTube video. Bye.